All right, thanks for joining us today for this advanced look at storm number 39 from the upcoming House of X set. Uh, we're going to get right to it today. So as you can see, Storm is coming in with a seven range to a target for 85 points. She has the X-Men team ability. We are going to take a closer look at two of her traits. Uh, the third trait she has is the Krakoian Revival, uh, which we're going to review in a, a separate video. But just know that she has that on there and it allows you to bring back lower point X-Men figures uh, when they die. So she's coming at 85 points, so that gives her uh, quite a range of point values to choose from. Okay, but what we're going to look at first and foremost is her team up ability on this card. She teams up with uh, the figures listed, and if one listed friendly character is on the map, Storm and the listed character gain the dolphin symbol and modify speed plus two if they occupy water terrain. Uh, now, not a lot of maps have water terrain. Uh, there are some that have like a few squares. There's some characters that make water terrain. But the second part of that team up is super cool. If four or more are on the map, during your turns, printed hindrance terrain is water terrain instead. So not only is that great because it will allow you to modify your speed plus two and there are a ton of maps with hindering terrain, but if you think about what that entails, the hindering terrain is water terrain instead. So water terrain is not hindered for line of fire. Anyone that is stealth, and that would be figures like Black Widow, that might be hiding in hindering terrain you make that water terrain on your turns and there that's how you get by their stealth so that's uh, super cool of course you have to have uh, four or more of the characters uh, so it kind of takes up your team build to do that but it uh, not only gives you the improved speed but it can cause some havoc on your opponent's strategy The second trait is when Storm hits with a range attack, after resolutions, give a hit character a lightning rod token. When Storm targets a single character with a lightning rod token with a range attack, she modifies damage plus three. At the end of your turn, remove all lightning rod tokens that weren't given this turn. So you'll notice that she has uh, Indom, and the lightning rods will go away if they weren't given out uh that turn so you have to hit with that first attack and then next turn hit somebody that has that lightning rod token to take advantage of the plus three damage because they don't stick around after that now that plus three is fantastic so she's going to have her 85 points run and shot with nine movement and seven range so that gives you a swing of 12. Uh, 11 attack energy shield or um energy explosion, 18 defense with toughness, and three damage on that top click with uh, leadership. So that three can become a six on the second uh, turn whenever she makes that attack on a lightning rod character. There's a couple things to point out here. The energy explosion uh, makes your damage two. So on the first turn, she can run and shot energy explosion. You might not be able to damage some characters that have reducers, but you don't have to damage anybody, you just have to hit. So it gives you the, the ability to uh, damage with energy explosion, if that's available, and not worry about that character that might have a reducer that's adjacent to one of the targets, because you could hit them and then give them a lightning rod, follow up on the next attack. Uh, the other thing to notice is that she has improved targeting characters and two targets. So another way that you can use that plus three with the lightning rod is on your first running shot, you make your attack dual target, deal all the damage to one character, and then give the lightning rod to the other character. Uh, or with the improved targeting characters, that two targets uh, can be very useful. So you can get to one of those bigger 
uh, threats that might be behind some other characters and target them. Even if you don't damage them the first time, all you have to do is hit. So you could hit them and another figure, uh, deal, split up your damage, and then give that lightning rod token to that bigger threat. On your next turn, now you're swinging with an 11 for six, which is serious. Uh, the middle of her dial, she still keeps the run-in shot. Her leadership goes away, but she picks up perplex, so that 11 and 10 attack can become easily a 12 and 11 attack. The last two clicks turn into sidestep, precision strike, uh, combat reflexes, and close combat expert. Uh, but she can still shoot if she needs to, and that trait would still be in play. So it gives you some versatility on the last two clicks. She keeps uh, decent movement throughout her dial. Attack value never goes below 10. Her defense stays at 17s and 18s. And then on the last two clicks up close, she becomes a 19 and a 20. Her damages are threes and twos, but again, she has perplex on a couple of those clicks. She has close combat expert at the end of her dial. So she has ways to increase the damage value. She has decent attacks uh, and she has that super good trait where she can get a bump of plus three to the damage. Uh, overall, I think it's a great character at a great point value. All right, hopefully you like this quick preview and I will see you next time. Check it out. If you dig what we do, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.